Recent research has revealed that the winds on Mars are far stronger than previously believed. By analyzing satellite images from ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter and Mars Express, scientists found that dust devils can reach speeds of up to 160 kilometers per hour, far exceeding past estimates. These findings reshape our understanding of Martian weather, dust transport, and surface activity. They also have direct consequences for mission planning and engineering. In this video, we'll break down what was discovered, why it matters scientifically, and how it will shape future Mars exploration. Let's get started. Dust devils are a well-known feature of Mars. These short-lived vortices form when sunlight heats the ground, causing warm air to rise and spin, lifting fine dust into the atmosphere. What's new is the strength of the winds driving them. For decades, scientists believed Martian winds rarely exceeded 50 kilometers per hour, with stronger gusts considered rare. A new study led by Valentin Bickel at University of Bern challenges that view. Using more than 50,000 high-resolution images collected over two decades, the team conducted the most extensive analysis of dust devil activity to date. The data came from the CASSIS camera on ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter and the HRSC camera on Mars Express. A deep learning algorithm automatically detected dust devils across diverse terrains and seasons. From this dataset, 300 events were selected for detailed measurement. By applying stereo imaging and time sequencing, the researchers could precisely track the motion of these vortices across the surface. The results were striking. Some dust devils reached wind speeds of up to 44 meters per second, 160 kilometers per hour, a figure well above the upper range of earlier models. These winds weren't confined to the spinning vortex cores. Strong straight-line winds surrounding them played a critical role in lifting and sustaining dust. This study provides the first global, long-term measurements of near-surface Martian wind speeds linked directly to visible dust activity. It establishes a firmer baseline for understanding energy flows in Mars' boundary layer, the region where most weather occurs. In short, these are not rare bursts of wind, but consistent, measurable forces that are reshaping the surface of Mars and driving its atmospheric processes. Martian dust isn't just a side effect of wind. It's central to the planet's climate and geology. It influences how sunlight is absorbed and reflected, drives temperature differences, and helps control large-scale circulation. Seasonal and regional dust activity affects everything from atmospheric opacity to storm development. Previous models underestimated how easily and frequently dust could be lifted. The stronger winds measured in this study suggest that dust mobilization is more common and more effective than previously thought. This helps explain how thin layers of dust can be maintained in suspension across the planet for extended periods. Geologically, this aligns well with what we see on the surface. Many features, including dune migration, streak formations, and ripple fields, point to sustained aeolian activity. The newly confirmed wind speeds provide a physical explanation for these patterns without requiring rare, extreme events. An important detail here is the role of straight-line winds. While dust devils have been studied for years, most attention has focused on their cores, this study shows that the surrounding winds contribute significantly to lifting and moving dust, effectively acting as a large-scale transport system. Equally significant is how this data was obtained. Earlier estimates relied on isolated measurements from landers or indirect modeling. In contrast, this work used automated detection on a global scale, a major step forward. It gives researchers a statistically robust view of wind behavior across time and space, rather than anecdotal snapshots. These insights also inform operational planning. Wind affects surface missions directly from erosion rates to how dust accumulates on solar panels. Past missions such as Spirit, Opportunity, Curiosity, Perseverance, and Insight have experienced both the benefits and the risks of wind. 
while dust devils have occasionally cleared solar panels, they've also contributed to long-term wear on equipment. For future human missions, these measurements are even more important. Strong winds influence how habitats, power systems, and surface infrastructure are designed. Engineers now have more accurate upper limits to plan around, reducing uncertainties in mission risk models. In short, the new data sharpens the scientific picture of Mars's active surface environment, while providing practical information for exploration. This discovery carries three major implications for Mars research and exploration. Climate modeling, surface science, and engineering. One, climate modeling. Stronger winds mean dust lifting is more efficient than previously assumed. This affects global circulation models, which govern how scientists simulate Martian weather and seasonal changes. More dust in the atmosphere influences temperature gradients, pressure systems, and the formation of regional and global dust storms. Improved wind inputs make these simulations more accurate, which in turn improves mission planning. 2. Surface Evolution Aeolian activity is one of the dominant forces shaping Mars today. With more energetic winds, the redistribution of dust and sand can better explain many observed surface features, from migrating dunes to erosion patterns, what was once attributed to exceptional storms may, in many cases, be the result of ordinary but powerful winds. 3. Exploration and Engineering For robotic missions, stronger winds can both help and hinder. High winds can clear solar panels, extending mission lifetimes, but they can also accelerate erosion or damage delicate instruments. For crewed missions, design requirements will need to reflect these updated wind limits. Even though Mars's atmosphere is thin, high-speed winds can transport dust efficiently, reduce visibility, and gradually wear down structures. Power systems, habitat anchoring, and mobility infrastructure will all have to account for these conditions. Next steps. The research team plans to combine orbital observations with surface data from landers and rovers to refine wind models. Integrating these findings into high-resolution climate simulations will help predict storm formation and atmospheric behavior more accurately. Future orbiters could use similar machine learning techniques to monitor dust devils and wind fields in near real time. These capabilities would support operational decisions for both robotic and human missions, such as adjusting power strategies, scheduling EVAs, or protecting equipment during high wind events. This work also informs landing site selection. Understanding regional wind patterns can help avoid areas prone to extreme gusts and dust lifting, reducing risks to infrastructure. Over time, these datasets will become foundational for building a predictive weather framework for Mars, something essential for long-term surface operations. Mars may have a thin atmosphere, but its winds are powerful and constant. These forces shape the planet's surface and climate in ways we're only beginning to grasp. Future missions will need to adapt to this new, windier reality.